early education has been a priority for me for years, both here in Harrisburg and at home in Erie. In fact, my wife, Michelle, runs one of the largest early care and education providers in Erie, Early Connections. The level of support in Erie for these issues is huge. More than a decade ago, the philanthropic community, including the Erie Community Foundation and the United Way of Erie County, as well as individual business leaders, created the Erie's Future Fund to offer scholarships to low-income children to attend high-quality early learning programs. We did this to address the growing concerns about the lack of school readiness among many children entering kindergarten and the significant impact this was having now and would have in the future on Erie's, Erie County's economy and quality of life. Erie's Future Fund also targets areas of health, children's mental health, education, special needs, and prevention of abuse and neglect, and promotes parent involvement beginning parentally, prenatally, I'm sorry. Families are provided guidance on selecting an ECE program, skills and knowledge necessary to promote school readiness throughout the child's early years, and information about health, child development, and community resources to support their family's needs. The Future Fund has been a blessing for children and families of Erie, but demand for these services outpaces our local resources, and we have put the entire Commonwealth worth of children to be concerned about. More than 100,000 children are eligible for state-funded pre-K programs like Pre-K Counts and Head Start, but don't have access due to insufficient funding. More than half of Pennsylvania residents live in child care deserts, and less than half of Pennsylvania's child care is considered high quality. And then there is the historic teacher shortage that is due to low wages in early care and education sector. We have a lot of work to do, and we have a mandate from the voters to do it. I look forward to working with our new governor, Josh Shapiro, and members of both parties on these issues to move Pennsylvania forth in this critical endeavor.